For this particular recipe, the honey roasted peanut crunch bars, we're going to crush the honey roasted peanut crunch granola before we use it in the recipe by pulsing it five or six times in a small food processor. Place the one and a half cups of the crushed lower gourmet granola into the bowl, and then to that add the remaining one half cup of uncrushed Laura's gourmet granola honey roasted peanut crunch. To this, we're going to add our half cup of peanut butter as well as two tablespoons of honey. So this part might get a little frustrating and if you choose to melt your peanut butter, you can, but you don't need to as long as you're patient. So once you have all of your peanut butter into your bowl, you're going to start the mixing process. And like I said, this is just going to take a little bit of patience. If you wanted to use this in a stand-up mixer, you could do that as well, although you do run the risk of crushing the oats down even further, which you really don't want to do. So once the peanut butter and the honey are in with the granola, just keep on stirring until you see it all start to come together. Like I said, it does require a little bit of patience, but at the end of the day, this probably won't take you more than about 45 seconds to a minute. Once you feel that you've gotten most of the combination of the peanut butter, honey, and granola together, go ahead and grab your butterscotch chips, which is what we're using in this case, and go ahead and add that to the mixture, and then go ahead and stir that to combine. That should only take you about maybe 10 seconds. Now remember, there's nothing actually raw in this, so if you feel the need to snack while you're making it, no one's watching, so feel free to do exactly that. Now comes the part where you get to get your hands a little bit messy and it won't even be messy. So once you've seen that you've thoroughly combined the peanut butter, go ahead and add it to a prepared or sprayed eight by eight baking pan. Place the entire mixture into the pan. And then what I'd like you to do is take your hands, which are the best tools you have, and they're very washable before, during, and after, of course, and firmly press the mixture into the pan. And if you want to just mix it up one more time, you can. But you'll see that it's going to feel like something that's actually adhering together at this point. That is the magic that you have just created with Laura's Gourmet Granola, of course, and the peanut butter and the honey. Once you feel that that's really firm and in place, you'll be really, really good to go. This will go into a 325 degree oven.